Hey everyone, we're continuing with our talk on heart health, our health, heart health series. And I want to zone in on a very interesting topic, which is your dentition or your dental health and your dental hygiene, I beg your pardon, and your heart health. I, some of you may be wondering <laughs> what in the world does your, the, do your teeth have to do with your heart health? And I got to tell you, it was a shock for me too when I first discovered it. And right now there's been a ton of research in the, in the connection between the heart and their teeth or the health of your teeth. So we're going to go into that for the next few minutes. And of course, if, any, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to contact the studio. Uh, here's an interesting quote, which you probably will shock you. People with gum disease, that's gum disease, also known as periodontal disease or gingivitis, have two to three times the risk of having a heart attack. Think about that. Two to three times the risk of having a heart attack, stroke, or any other serious cardiovascular event. Two to three times. Isn't that shocking? Now, Another thing I heard about too, another thing I've studied and seen is that uh, people with gum disease or if they have bad teeth have higher levels, higher risks of uh, brain problems like Alzheimer's dementia. They are more likely to have diabetes. They are, have a higher risk, think about that, a higher risk of having a, a miscarriage or premature abor abortion or an abortion, spontaneous abortion. All because your teeth and your dentition are, are, not, are not in place. And, I, and, and I, I'll explain the, the reason why in a few minutes. But think about that. I know I keep saying think about it because I really want you to think about this. Most of us in Nigeria don't brush our teeth more than once a day. And it's usually in the morning. Do you know when the best time to brush your teeth is? At night before you go to bed. Because that's when, that's when all the food that you've eaten throughout the whole day, all the things you put in your mouth the whole day, that's when, when you're sleeping, the bacteria begin to work on it, and then you end up with a foul breath in the morning because of all the gunk and the stuff that has been there. So you want to think about that. People, uh, you're not only supposed to brush your teeth twice a day, at least twice a day, you're supposed to floss your teeth regularly. And in addition to that, and in the Western world, this is like standard practice. You're supposed to have your teeth cleaned twice a year, twice a year. Some of us have never been to the dentist to clean our teeth. But it's standard. It's, in fact, part of your, your employee benefits in many, of the, in many parts of the Western world is to have standard twice a, twice a year cleaning of the teeth. Why is all that important? What's the relationship? What's the connection? We're now finding out that there are certain bacteria, and these are the bad bacteria now, that tend to grow and germinate and, and uh, multiply. When you have uh, when you have gingivitis or period, periodontal disease, they they in an unhealthy environment in the teeth, these bacteria multiply, and they find their way into the bloodstream. And when they get into the bloodstream, they have a predilection for the lining of the blood vessels, and they tend to stay there and embed themselves there and cause what is known as inflammation. Once inflammation is stimulated, it's, it's like a, what do you call it, a, an SOS signal. It's like calling on all the other bad guys to come and find and deposit within the lining of the gut where they are. Sorry, lining of the blood vessel. So these bad bacteria act as a focal point for the deposition of cholesterol, platelets, clotting factors that adds to the blockage or to the obstruction of the lumen through which blood must flow and that is eventually what can trigger uh, a heart blockage a blockage in the heart or a blockage in the brain i'm not saying that's the only reason but it's a key re key factor in many of these things and i think it's also a good i think it's, it's a good news for us too because that's something we can control everybody knows they everybody can brush your teeth twice a day come on you can brush your teeth twice a day you can even floss your teeth regularly so let's start there start first of all by paying more attention to the health of your teeth and the health of your gums and you'll be glad you did